This is Andrea James from Wow Now. Tonight we are here at the screening of Wojnarowicz. F*** you, faggot fucker. The Wow Liberties were out in force to raise money for the Black AIDS Institute and to honor our film's subject, artist and AIDS activist David Wojnarowicz. We are here tonight with the founders of WOW and the director, Chris McKim, for the screening of Wojnarowicz. F*** you, faggot fucker. And, uh, oh, we're not allowed to say it, huh? Oh! Let's say it again. F*** you, faggot fucker. I love it. I think it was great. Uh, Chris told me earlier that you were the one that thought that that was a great idea. Well, I was the one. It was Chris who thought of the idea. And I was just like, oh, my God, because we were like trying to think of titles. And then I was like, this is the perfect title because it's named. It's one of the titles of his works. And congratulations, by the way, on the nomination by the uh, International Documentary Association. That's a very big honor. Can you tell us uh, more about why that's important? The IDA really is the premium documentary organization, I would say, not just in the U.S., but around the world. It's a really, it's an incredible honor. It's very exciting. Uh, Matt Yoka directed Whirly Bird, and that's being honored f f with the ABC News uh, Video Archive Award. And then uh, Ronan is being honored, for, uh, who we did Catch and Kill with, is being honored with the uh, Truth to Power Award. So. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. We are here with Laganja Estranja. First of all, congratulations and welcome to the club of trans women. So delighted to see you in person. We've never met. Yes, thank you. It's wonderful to meet you and it's amazing to join the sisterhood. I've never felt better and more myself. Today is World AIDS Day and this film is, uh, is a benefit for the Black AIDS Institute. Um, can you talk about why that's still important today? Well, I think it's super important because it's still rampant. It's still something that is affecting our community every day. And I think there has been a lot of education that's been provided, but unfortunately, due to things like TikTok, people's attention span is very short. And so we've got to get the message out to the youth so that we can change our future. On behalf of everybody at uh, Black AIDS Institute, I want to thank you for having us here, for featuring and highlighting the work that we're doing as the only uniquely uh, and unapologetically black think and do tank in the United States focused on HIV uh, and preventing HIV in the black community. Well, it is World AIDS Day and we very much wanted to honor and appreciate an organization like yours because obviously David Wojnarowicz was one of the most important people in the early fight against HIV AIDS. Can you talk about why art is so important to activism in terms of AIDS and HIV? So many of the people that we serve, our clients, our B10 leaders, are people that are dedicated to art, whether they're performers, artists, musicians, and it's so great to see the work of an HIV activist here and connecting with the work that we do at BAI, uh, especially highlighting black leadership, black artists, and it's just really great to see uh, other people uh, feel connected to the work that we do. It's amazing. Art is the ultimate universal language. So it's like anytime you get a chance to get a message through, it's the way to do it. You know, I've known Chris probably for about 20 years now. I Every year he surprises me. Every year he outdoes himself. I am so excited to see this. The buzz is just out of control. David's life and his work was a, you were all a call to action. And I think that's um, as people see the film and follow David's journey that is you know he's trying to figure out his way in life and how to make his art mean something and I think that is really the message of you know putting ourselves in our work and um, you know putting it out there and you know making a difference. What an amazing film and what an amazing honor to be here with the actual thing that made it. What did you enjoy the most about making it? For me it was really the archive and the audio and getting to spend so much time with David because you know there were like 200 audio cassettes in the archive and it was the tape journals and the answering machine tapes and all the stuff but when it first came in I just threw it on my iPhone and it pretty much shuffled. So you know sometimes it would be 1981, sometimes it would be the answering machine tape but it was really getting to spend time with David and listen to him and listen to his journey. Being able to 
appreciate his work and what he did because I really didn't know that much about it. I saw the, the burning house, it was like on graffiti all around the city and in his village and he was a presence, but I just wasn't that aware of it. And just, just the, the intimacy and the density and the insight of all of it is, is quite overwhelming to watch the film. It's always such an emotional experience. Chris called me what is it, about two years, about two years later, we met for coffee right down the street, and he said, I have this incredible, uh, incredible archive of audio cassettes and photographs and film stock and all these kinds of things. And we're not sure where it's, what it's gonna be or what it's about, but we're gonna like put it together. And, uh, it was, um, <laughs> there were a number of days where I wasn't sure where we were going, but uh, it all worked out. There was both, David trying to figure out what he was doing with his life. There was lots of personal stuff and, you know, cruising and Peter and, and, and it really felt like it was the point where he was transitioning really from like everything he had been doing. It was just the band was just starting, but it was like he was realizing that he, there were all these avenues and he should trust in what he was doing. The International Documentary Association voting continues through February 13th, 2022. Please join World of Wonder in supporting the Black AIDS Institute. Visit blackaids.org slash donate.